Hello, I'm Sean and today's tutorial is on how to make a one oscillator synthesizer in Max MSP. First what we're going to do is make an object. There's a few different ways of making an object, whether it's using the hotkey, double clicking the patcher, or going to the top toolbar and select an object. Within this object we're going to type note in, which will read all the mini notes we sent to Max. From there, we're going to make another object, which will be MTOF. This converts MIDI to frequency, and will connect to the output of our note in. Afterwards, we're going to make a divider of 127. This will assist in the conversion of MIDI to frequency. That will also connect to our note in output. If we look at the note in, we can see three different outputs, pitch, velocity, and MIDI channel. Our pitch connects to our MTOF and our velocity to our divider of 127. Next, we're going to make a number box. As you can see, there's a few different options for numbers, but for this tutorial, we're going to use a flow number, which also displays decimals. We're going to connect our number box to the output of our MTOF. Afterwards, we're going to make another object. This object will be our oscillator, and today we're going to use a saw wave this connects to the output of our flow number. Our flow number is going to determine the frequency of our saw wave oscillator, and we are going to connect the saw wave oscillator to a gain object, which will determine the volume of it. Now that we have our oscillator section set up, we're going to make our filter section. By typing filter graph into the object window, you will receive this, which will be our filter. To go along with the filter, we're going to make a biquad object, which combines the signal with the filter and converts them into one. Connect that into the first input of the biquad, and then we're going to connect the output of the gain into the first input of the biquad. To make our synthesizer more dynamic, we're going to make an ADSR object. For the ADSR, you can either use a slider or a dial. Either one works and it's really just preference. Today we're going to use a dial. So select the dial four times because you're going to need it for the attack, decay, sustain, and release. Attach one dial to one input, that being attack, decay, sustain, or release and each dial will control its connected input. Once you're done connecting your dials, make another object. This will be a multiplier that multiplies two signals by zero. Afterwards, drag the output of our original divider of 127 to the input of our ADSR. Then, drag the ADSR envelope to the first input of our two-signal multiplier. Once complete, drag the output of the biquad and drag it into the right input of our two-signal multiplier. Once complete, make another gain object and connect that to the output of our two-signal multiplier. Now, go to the top and click the plus signal and select audio and select the speaker icon. Connect the output of the gain object into the left input of the speaker object and the right input. This will represent the left channel and the right channel. The gain object connected to the speaker will control the overall volume of our synthesizer. And the gain object connected to the saw wave will control the overall amount of saw wave let into the synthesizer. Now that we're complete with our synthesizer, go to your MIDI controller and start playing any note you desire. You should start hearing an output of audio. Thanks for watching today, and remember to like, subscribe, and check the description to learn more about Salem State University Music Technology Department.